It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso. On Tuesdays, we love to chat movies with JP Sebastian. Mm -hmm. And on Thursdays, and it was just last week, he was talking about this local film. Mm -hmm. And the career trajectory of Cajiso Ladija is a remarkable one, as the comedian boasts a CV with acting, writing, and now directing and producing it credits. Ah, uh, he's done it all, and it almost feels like he's coming full circle. He's lent all his talents to his latest offering, though. It's called Matuetue, and it opened and released in cinemas last week. My nephew you, Tulu Piri. He attended it at uh, the premiere to bring you all the action. Have a look. Building a life outside of an adverse background is something that's familiar with many young South Africans. And this is a central theme that comedian Kaki Solidija's latest film, Matuetue, which means wizard, explores. It follows the journey of two young men who try to make something of themselves post-graduation. Best friends Lefa and Puppy are on the hustle of their lives and it all comes to an head over an action-packed New Year's Eve. Along the way, the pair encounter girls, gangsters and growing up as they bumble through the coming-of-age adventure. Writer, director, producer, Kakiso Lidija is with me. And I want to know from you, Kakiso, why the decision to go for a coming-of-age tale following the success of, you know, Catching Feelings, which was also a very successful film? Um, I, this film, or this story I came up with, when I was coming of age and I wrote this thing, the idea was that I was going to shoot it soon, you know, at the time. And little did I know it would be 20, close to 20 years later that I'd make it. Tell us more about the two central characters, Lefa and Papi. Our main guy, Lefa, he's an idealist. He wants to go to university. He's a botanist. He's going to study botany. He's, he's going to do great things. But he's got his friend who's more of a, like a straight-up hustler, you know, like a gangster. And uh, the two of them kind of make this funky combo because one kind of has this great ideal, academic ideal, while the other sees him as also a business opportunity. But they're also great friends. I mean, I think what comes through out of the... What, what really pulls through uh, from the story is the friendship. Is that this is a guy, like a grand friendship. Lidika put together a superb production team to bring this township tale to life, including legendary South African DJ Black Coffee, who makes his turn as executive producer. DJ Black Coffee, first and foremost, can you tell me why you decided to get involved in uh, executively producing this film? We are about to launch a platform for, for content, for music, films and uh, documentaries, you know, that focus on African stories, African movies. And this is like our first investment basically towards that direction. And musically, what can we expect from the, mu from the movie? I have a small contribution on the music, just one song that I suggested, but um, it was done already and it, it is really amazing. Every song fits exactly where it's supposed to be. Making his feature film debut is actor Sibusisa Quinana, who plays Lefa, with Tabata Mashishi, who plays Papi. Both actors are fueling their dreams in order to leave behind their tough upbringings in the townships. I grew up in Soshanguve, I see people like him, but then the situation that he's faced with, of having to do something to raise funds to go to university, is something huge, it's something that people are not willing to take in. Then I think those situations that he faces are what makes him different from other people, you know. Uh, it, when you watch it, almost each and every character wakes up in the morning to do something about their lives. And it's something that um, happens in the township, you know, everyone has their own hustle. So with this kind of a feeling, it shows you that, you know, I think we are too young to be complaining or we've been complaining a lot. It's about time we take matters into our own hands. And lastly, what was the experience like working with Kachi Solidija? The passion he had about the story it was amazing. And you don't want to disappoint because uh, you feel like he's taking chances with you, you know. But then I think he makes things way much easier in terms of the approach. You want to watch a whiskey up? A whiskey up? Tell me a little bit about this character. I mean, he's the driving force of the film along with Liv. How was it like bringing him to life? It was like playing. You know, it was like we just got together and had fun because Kakiso really played with us and, you know, he gave us freedom to explore and bring these characters, you know, to life and bring our own ideas to, to the story itself, yeah. Tonight's theme invokes the spirit and the culture of the township as the theme dope is worn enthusiastically by those in attendance. 
I'm a lover of the continent and everything African is dope. We're watching an original African movie, so I thought I gotta celebrate the roots and this is me dope. Listen, dope for me means uh, freedom and incorporating yourself into whatever that you find yourself being comfortable. I'm most comfortable in my shorts and that's how I'm being dope AF right now. Obviously I'm wearing sneakers and a t-shirt for the suit. <laughs> Isn't it dope? Matuetwe brings together the hustle of young South Africans from disadvantaged backgrounds as well as celebrating authentic South African culture and township culture, all while doing so with a touch of humour, which makes it that much more entertaining. Be sure to catch it out at a cinema near you.